Greetings, fellow classmates and Dr. Williams. I am Benjamin Jackson. I will be presenting to you my PowerPoint on Staphylococcus saprophyticus. The effects of Staphylococcus saprophyticus, a urinary tract infection. What is Staphylococcus? Staphylococcus is a group of bacteria that can cause a number of diseases as a result of infection of various tissues of the body. Staphylococcus is also a gram-positive bacteria. It has at least 40 different species. The word Staphylococcus comes from the Greek word Staphyl, meaning bunch of grapes, and the Greek word coccus, meaning berry. Under a microscope, Staphylococcus looks just like a bunch of grapes or little round berries. This is an example of Staphylococcus under a high resolution electron microscope. Staphylococcus saprophyticus is a urinary tract infection. A urinary tract infection is an infection of any part of your urinary system including your kidney, uterus, bladder, and urethra. This is more common in women than males. It is also a gram positive bacteria as mentioned before. Staphylococcus saprophyticus was not recognized as a cause of a urinary tract infection until the early 1970s. It is more common in women in the age group of 17 through 27. It is also found in the normal floor of humans. It is not commonly found in healthy humans. However, it infects humans through sexual intercourse or through contact with animals. The staph can travel through the urethra and enter the bladder causing a cyst. Also, if the staph reaches the kidney, a woman can develop pyelonephritis. This is a picture of the pyelonephritis, which is when the staph moves towards your kidney. The next thing I will show you is a video from the show The Doctor explaining this picture a little deeper. Urinary tract infections are the second most common infection in the body. If treated with antibiotics, usually reduced to a few days of discomfort. But what happens if you put off treatment? Well, join us by phone to tell us about a patient who did exactly that is Dr. Holly Phillips. She's a medical reporter for WCBS in New York, also a medical contributor to the early show on CBS. Welcome back, Dr. Phillips. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Hi, Holly. So I had this very young woman. She was only 30 years old. And for five days, she had urinary frequency. Sometimes she had to urinate almost every 10 minutes. She also had urgency. But after five days of this, she developed a severe pain in her right lower back. So when she came into my office, she was literally screaming in anguish. So ultimately, what happened, what was a simple urinary tract infection, had moved into her kidneys and, called what, and caused what we call a pyelonephritis. That's an infection of the kidneys that causes severe pain and swelling. And she even had the beginnings of sepsis, which is an infection in the blood. So something that could have been treated so simply with just a few days of antibiotics developed into something that was life-threatening and I had to send her to the ICU. Well, urosepsis, sepsis that starts in the urinary tract, is such a common cause of debilitation in people and it shouldn't happen in otherwise young, healthy people unless you ignore it. Right, I mean, there's a lot of infections that you can get over, colds and ear infections, but urinary tract infections is one of the ones you don't. You have to get it treated. And especially common in women. women, women and, and kids, too. Kids get them a lot. Diagnosis. In order to diagnose a urinary tract infection, a doctor will sample the urine for any presence of bacteria and analyze the white and red blood cell count. Lab analysis of the urine is followed by the growth of a urine culture to allow bacteria to grow within the lab. This test notifies which bacteria is causing the infection and the best medications that will best be for your infection. If your doctor suspects down an abnormality in your urinary tract,
tract causes frequent infections, you may have an ultrasound or a computerized tomographic scan to create images of your urinary tract. In certain situations, your doctor may also use the contrast data to highlight structures in your urinary tract. Another test called an intravenous polygram of IVP uses x-rays with contrast dye to create images. Historically, doctors used this test for urinary tract imaging, but it's being replaced more often by ultrasound or CT scan. Treatment. The Staphylococcus staphylococcus infection is treated with antibiotics trimomethoprim, sulfamethoxalone, or quinolone, such as norplexin. The course of treatment in drugs will depend on your urine test and medical history. A drug commonly used to treat staphylococcus staphylococcus infection is ciproflaxin. If the treatment is not complicated by other infections, the UTI can be cleared in one to two days. However, doctors may prescribe up to a week or two treatment to make sure the bacteria is totally eliminated. To avoid this urinary tract infection, wipe front to back after urinating or bowel movement. Wash and clean genitals daily with soap and water and do not hold back any urine. A case study in a case study conducted in 2006, Staphylococcus fluoroquinolis are the drug of choice for treating UTIs, but their effectiveness is affected by the urine pH and contents. Research was done on two drugs from German pharmaceutical companies, an extended release drug, cyprofloxin, and another drug, levofloxin, was tested. Levofloxin was shown to be more effective than cyprofloxin against Staphylococcus saprophyticus.